In 2020, a splendid poison frog on the mountains in West Panama was declared extinct. Unfortunately, it was just one casualty of what has been called the sixth mass extinction, with species going extinct 100 times faster than the natural rate. Wildlife is clearly suffering, but what do we really stand to lose if we let nature die? The term biodiversity refers to the variety of life in a given area. This can come in a number of categorizations. Genetic diversity, which means the variation in genes within a species. Species diversity, which means the number of different species in an ecosystem. And ecosystem diversity, the number of distinct ecosystems in an area. Biodiversity is arguably the most important measure of the health of nature. As previously discussed, a thriving ecosystem operates by having a multitude of different species, each occupying a different ecological niche and interacting with each other. Having just a few similar species can make an ecosystem vulnerable. One event could unanimously affect or even wipe out similar species, whereas varied species could be more resilient, allowing the ecosystem as a whole to adapt and survive. Biodiversity and wider ecosystems provide a range of valuable services that are fundamental to humans. These are known as ecosystem services and include providing food and clean water, materials like wood, fuel and medicines, regulating climate, the air we breathe, soil quality, pollinating crops, and also include the contributions of biodiversity to our well-being. Highly biodiverse and healthy ecosystems directly provide the food we eat. Pollinators like bees, beetles, moths and butterflies are essential for growing flowers, our crops and other plants. Fungi, bacteria and worms provide healthy soils for growing our crops and filtering water in our environment. Healthy and diverse oceans provide fish and other seafood for approximately 3 billion people worldwide. Plants, soil and the ocean all represent the world's three biggest carbon sinks, meaning they actively soak up carbon from the atmosphere and so are fundamental for regulating climate and in the fight against climate change. Biodiversity and ecosystems will also play a key role in mitigating the effect of further warming, such as mangrove forests, which act as a barrier to sea level rise and storms along coastlines. Peatland, here in the UK, can soak up water and slow the movement of rainfall into rivers, helping reduce flooding. Biodiversity and nature have become increasingly relevant recently, as having access to green spaces and spending time in nature can benefit our physical and mental well-being and has greatly benefited people throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Moreover, scavengers such as vultures prevent disease spread from carcasses, and 118 of the top 150 prescription medicines in the US come from natural sources. Examples of human design copying nature also include whale fins and wind turbines, shark skin and ship's holes, and sticky seas and Velcro. Not to mention the immense contribution nature makes to human cultures, providing deities for our religions, attracting eco-tourists, and inspiring some of our most beautiful pieces of art. To recap, Biodiversity is the variety of life in a given area and is a key indicator of the health of nature. It brings with it many valuable ecosystem services such as pollination, food production and climate regulation. Continue to our next video to cover the threats to our natural world and how we can save it.